All right, so the vlogs are back. It's your boy Rob. Um, we got a special guest. He wasn't supposed to be here actually. He was supposed to be here in like five days, but he surprised us this morning. Three, two. Mr. Beautiful himself, the Rhino. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, I was supposed to be in Philly for a whole week and uh, I didn't like it. Here's what you guys don't realize. Um, we have no friends. So like you you hear me say that and you're like, oh, shut up. Like, oh, well, yeah, you do. We legitimately have no friends. Bruh. So I got to Philly and I hit up my friends and nobody hit me back. So I'm here now. So <laughs> cheers. But I love being in LA now more than I do being in Maryland, Philly, anywhere else. So it's my home. You know, I can attest to that because I feel the same way. Yeah. I, I love my family. I love being at home. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we have developed such a, a nice routine and environment atmosphere here with us three and what we're doing out here with our friends and whatnot and filming. And then exactly. once we break that and then we're back at home, it's like, ooh. Because uh. the vibes that we've created in here, it's just vibe city. Like, I just love walking in here and it's like, there's something that's going on behind the camera you can't even see that is like adds to the whole experience. What we're about to show um, y'all, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna be smiling for the next three years, just like looking at this. And I think they're gonna like it too. Oh, that's the thing. you guys, oh yeah, that's Mando. Oh, uh, do we show it or? It's, really? it's not time yet. I don't <laughs> think it's time yet. And shortly, soon, very soon. soon. In this vlog. In this vlog. Don't scrub through it, you know, just keep watching. Just keep videos. watching, but you'll be able to see what we're gonna show. But I currently have a pounding headache <gasps> um, for my flight today. Six hour flight from Philly to LA. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm on Maryland time right now, or East Coast time. I haven't eaten that much. Stressful flight, you know, turbulence and stuff. Mm -hmm. Any, is anyone else scared of flying or is it just me? Cause I'd be scared. Like, I don't really want to go home ever again. Yeah. We should do a road trip back. We should. Cause I want to visit Maryland, like where you grew up and Bro, stuff. Bro, I will only go back home if you go. Okay, deal. Yeah, we'll vlog it. We'll bring them too. I'm drinking chocolate almond milk, by the way. I want the fridge. Oh, it's already outside. <laughs> you stupid. This is what y'all gotta get on. This is the way. Cow's milk? Don't even say that around. With all the hormones and the extra added. Steroids and cancers and stuff. Do you really want that going into your body? Ew. You know how, oh, cow's milk, it gives you strong bones, calcium stuff? Calcium. It actually does it. It actually rips the calcium from your bones. Look it up. Try almond milk. I even like to drink rice milk, so. Mm hmm. That's the thing, rice milk. Maybe because like Asian, a mm -hmm. little bit, so I don't know, but just try it out. How do they make it? Do they like- They squeeze, wait. <laughs> they squeeze the grain, <laughs> the juice out of each grain. Or like, cause like cows have udders, so you just kind of like, does do rice have udders? <laughs> so there's know. no liquid in rice at all. I mean water, but that sounds nasty. All I know is that we're back at the apartment. <laughs> Feeling good. Feeling great. Back into really the routine. Well, I'm not feeling good right now. Not right now. But, uh, but once he gets some sleep, because he's running on two hours of sleep. But uh, we're getting back in the groove of things. Gym, videos, writing, mm -hmm. good vibes. Um, we're starting now. People like to start at, oh, I'm gonna, 2020 is my mm -hmm. year. No, no, no. We're starting now. Mm -hmm. Like, mine is, you guys need to start right now. Because then that just gives you a head start jump on everything. 2020 is my year. My how many years have you guys heard that? Like people on Twitter, you know, 2019 brought me all this, but but this next year is gonna be my year. New beginnings, blah, blah. And then they, around October, when people give up. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, man, I'm gonna get right, I'm gonna get right next year, blah, blah. Bro, time is a made up thing. Now is the time. Yeah. Street politician and philosopher Drake once said, um, what did he say? Um, Kiki. Bruh. Um, oh, yeah. It's like, she can, she can play in how I'm late. I ain't know it was a date. See me in person, first thing they say, I know you need a break. Hell no, nah, I feel great. Ready now, why wait? Why wait? Ready now, why wait? Do it right now. I was trying to eat, so what am I doing? I'm doing it right Eating. now. Eating. Mm. Here's a, a tip, and I think that that I think you guys should. We're, we're the type to just do it and not really like talk about it. And I feel like there's a lot of people out there that are more of like talking about it and not being about it, right? Mm -hmm. 2020 is my year. Just do what you gotta do and do it and it'll show. Like we're going to the gym and stuff, we're not posting about it. Mm -hmm. Like oh, we know know what our re what our results, what we want them to be. We know where we want our channel to be, so we're just working towards that. Nipsey Hussle said, never vocalize my visions, my actions were my spokesperson. Stop saying what you're gonna do. Yeah, just do it. 
Work in silence, let success be the noise. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Get us out of here. What is our book name? We gotta write a book. <laughs> you should. That's on one of my. You don't wanna write it? Let me. We're supposed to do it together. We can do it together. Rob. <laughs> we'll write a book one day. I think we'll give him a little sneak peek though. He's in the building. He's making us a little something here. There's our good. special guest. Yeah. He's, uh, we've been hanging out together for the past uh -huh. two weeks, a week? Roommates, Roommates by now, so. Yeah, these guys hit me up, found me about like, a couple months ago, went back and forth, and uh, yeah, we finally came up with something that works for all of us. And that's <laughs> boats. Can I give that away? Boats. Boats. And, boats. and, and waves and <laughs> sun. Everybody Vibes. loves that. Everybody loves that. So, Y'all will see in a little bit. We'll give you a grand reveal of it later. And I'm thinking about like rocking my pants like this from now on. I'm not too sure if you are feeling this though. Look at this man Rob right now. Hold on. <laughs> what is this in his pants? What is it? It's cause like, you know. Alright. What do you mean? Ladies, a guy comes up to you and this is what his pants look like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You know, I'm lounging, all right, Ryan? I'm just lounging around, okay? Hey, let's go to my room. Here's my room. I have some unpacking to do. You no. brought the juggling balls over? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then my dad lost one, so. Oh. <laughs> Spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> Come right this way so we can see a Noah in his natural habitat. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. A wild Noah. Yeah, guys, just working on this video. Actually, I was able to cut down our seven minute outro to two minutes, so. Wow. Oh, look at that. it up. And then. Mr. Editor over here, huh? Yeah, I'm quick. I'm quick with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what I do, guys, I just cut all the clips and then I go back and add music and sounds later. So, right now, I just cut up the last <laughs> minute and 30 outro. Uh, funny little reaction video we did. I don't know, we're just trying to spice up the main channel. We do everything. Comment any video ideas that you want to see on the main channel. Because the vlog channel, we're going to be doing some epic stuff soon. And the thing is, nobody knows that this channel exists. Hey, hey, hey. There's only 90,000 of y'all, and I appreciate every person. 90,000, you guys are the realest of the real. There are, let's, what's our channel? 5.5 million or something like yes. that? Yes. 90,000, what's the percentage on that? That's 0.001%. Bro, y'all have proved that you were here from the beginning. So we will not forget you. Your support, it has been everything to us. And everyone that comes after, you know, we we recognize when people are coming to the channel yeah, and when they're subscribing. Under 100K club. Uh -huh. Y'all are here for the journey. So, buckle up. Um, we're gonna do a painting reveal soon. All right, time to go do something epic. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dude? Today we're gonna discuss the um, sports thing. Oh yes, let's do that. I think we're gonna have a sit down talk and discuss what we were talking about at IHOP. We just came back from IHOP, by the way. We should have vlogged it. Dang it. Guys, we're working on it. We're new vloggers, so it's just like getting into it. Like we're just trying our best to, you know, remember stuff and then vlog and pick up the camera and just do stuff. But yeah, grand reveal. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, wow. 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 Our special guest is here today, too. Hey. Hey. Everybody. The man behind the painting. Everything. He did it. Um, Actually, Ryan did the whole thing. Yeah. I, he, I let him touch up a few I'm things. I'm taking credit for it. It was mostly, you know, my kind of doing, but. I think that they should name it. The people of the vlog channel. The supporters of the vlog channel should name what this painting is. Mm -hmm. Because we were trying to decide what to name it. Basically, uh, we saw, so you guys might know the YouTubers Sam and Colby. They, uh, or maybe you don't know, I don't know. Let me know. But we saw that they had a mural painted for them uh, by this guy. And um, I was like, I want one of those in our room. So that's what we did. Hit them up and we came here, we conceptualized together what we wanted it to be. We knew we wanted uh, us three, just you know, like the center of attention, like, cause we're the, we're the best or whatever. And uh, I was like, I really wanted girls in it because who, I mean, women are amazing. So that's why we 
Figured we'd make that a staple of the piece. And yeah, freaking all the little details. We got the little wine glass or what you know, whatever is in there. Our cups, water. I only drink water. Um, the conch from SpongeBob. And the, the bottle of apple juice right there. We got the watermelon dripping into the water. Watermelon. Water. Y'all not. Y'all don't even hear me. Um, <sighs> Rob's got the Air Force Ones on. And uh, I mean, I'm just pointing out stuff that y'all can obviously see, but this is just. <sighs> Does it look good on the camera? Like, no, it looks really, really good. Uh, Let me see. Stand by your person. By your character? My head. Let me get a haircut first, guys. And then Look, I got violated really bad at the barber, guys. So, like, I'm going to be wearing a hat for the next decade. But, um. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a ball. Uh, you got to do your thing. You got to stand by your character. Well, we got to get Noah out here to do his We got to do. We're all going to do it. Together. <laughs> um, but, yeah, these are um specific people, by the way. These girls. I don't even know if you guys recognize them. This is Amanda Trevisas um, with the little Ignite thing on. So maybe y'all could send her this video. Maybe she'll see it. Uh, and this is, what's her name? Hannah Palmer, I think that's her name. Mm -hmm. um, and then our friend Bethy in the black. Uh, that's my friend Morgan. Um, my friend Kayla. And then um, this is Alex.Joy. Uh, I think it's like Alex, like Cravens or something. And then this girl, Bell, what's her? Bella Ramos. Bella Ramos. Bella dot Ramos. Um, I DM'd her. I was like, hey, not, I was gonna tell you, I was gonna tell her that she was gonna be in the painting, but she didn't answer my DM. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just freaking groovy. Look at the Cosmo and Wanda balloons. The sun. The surfer chicks in the back. Surfer chicks up there. We don't, swordfish. Swordfish yacht. The music playing some tunes. The tats, look at the sunflower, look at the thing. And then you got the thing with the rose there. Y'all see the accuracy. Yeah, guys, but here it is. Just the details are just making me, ugh. Little Robbie boy. All right, Rob, it's time for you to stand next to your guy. <laughs> <laughs> I should put my gray bean here. <laughs> this is gold. You can't tell me that that ain't me right there. This is gold right here. Wow. Yeah. And then we didn't even talk about this yet. Rob's dad was kind enough and skilled enough to make us this massive, L what do you want to call it? A sign? Bruh. Yes. But it's our big LLS logo. Uh, floating off the wall with the blue. Floating. Right? With the blue, what? Magnetic no, blue. No cables? No cable, no cap. Epic. LLS. Let's say you're a guest at our place. Uh, oh, follow me right this way. So, uh, yeah, y'all can just chill by the couch or whatever, um, and just, you know, cool it. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have those things over there, a uh, little sign, a little painting, a little five-minute crafts on the wall there. Wow. But yeah, we really caught ourselves just staring at this for legitimate hours last night. Oh, what's up, guys? Look, I'm wearing the same thing that I am in the picture. Hey. What the? You gotta hit the pose. Here you go. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine I had a cup in my hand. Wait, I'm wearing the same thing too. Hold up. Wait, hold Wait on now. Y'all might have just did something. Got my camera? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is literally so cool. Dang. Now this chain granite probably costs 100 grand. I have less than $100 on my neck. But, um, I don't know. It's cool. Got the same shoes. Hey. Nice. Dog is not here with me, but Damn. you guys get the gist. This is just a fun, loving, chill. We set the vibe when you walk in. Bro, it's a vibe in mm. here. Mm. And we don't condone smoking, okay? But this is a party function. I can't stop her if she's gonna go. She's vaping. She's vaping. Ignite vape. It's, it's oregano. It ain't even real. <laughs> yeah. Oregano vape? That's a new. I never heard CBD. of that. CBD. CBD. They sell this. CBD. Cedar, brother. That's legit. That's that. The, uh, the freaking grocery store. You yeah, they have that at the grocery store. That's what yeah, that is. It's literally holding mm. the pan. Okay. It's a legit. They amazing. have those things called vitamin vape. I have we, one. It's just she's uh -huh. smoking vitamins. It's vitamins. She's healthy. Legit water vapor vitamins. Water vapor vitamins. Wait, Rob, really do you have the same beanie on? That's really cool. Oh. Yeah. I, that was the fun. Down to the T. Down to the T. Where's the dog? I look, I think I look better on painting than I do. <laughs> Rob's got them big lips. Yeah. <laughs>
There you got the mustache, got the beard. Ryan with the hairline. Wow. Yeah, if only my hairline could look like that in person. Otherwise, I'll just get violated at the barber everywhere I go. Anyway. And what y'all think about a sign? I know they showed you guys. Sign! Look, this is so cool. Bro, it's legit. It's huge, too. This room is not just motivational. Like, time to go hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool ass stuff. Here we are. Um, What's up? So you guys Bobby. obviously now see the mural. Cool painted, setup. Painted. Cool setup. And wow. Can they see the sign? It sees the sign. Yep. Oh, it sees the whole thing. I see the sign, too. Uh, this is the new spot. We probably have one of the coolest places, YouTuber crib. Can we get Fusi to do a YouTuber crib? Right. Can <laughs> we got see? We got we got a whole two things to show. <laughs> Yo, DM Fusi and tell him to have us in his YouTube cribs because we don't really have a crib. We have an scary. apartment. We have an apartment complex with with cool stuff. But yeah. we're fiscally responsible. Yeah. Okay. Um. So that's why we're in an apartment. And uh, yeah. So I promise you guys, we are gonna start going places. Like really soon. <laughs> Starting very like, soon. We'll leave we, this. <laughs> we had to deck out our place first and then we can leave, you know? Cause we don't want the vlogs to obviously be us just in our apartment juggling the whole time. Which my bad, I might pick up the juggling. And when they are in the apartment, now you have something cool to look at. Uh-huh. Yeah, Ryan can probably jump in the background, probably can see that. So Let's see. We've been practicing our juggling, as you guys have seen. I'm gonna get my Uber Eats real quick, so watch him. Oh, really? And I had no practice, right? And yeah. this is, this took, I took longer to learn it. And I'm still better than him, which is crazy, right? Ooh. All right. Well, we'll see. And Noah, how's Noah with the juggling? I'm not as good with the small balls. No balls. And. Yeah, that's what you I see thought. how Noah's brushed me. Comment down below who's the better juggler. And the thing about my form is my form is cleaner. Ooh, how do you feel about that, Rob? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and three times the charm. Just some friendly competition. Yeah, it's all it friendly is. competition. <laughs> Starts punching each other. <laughs> Today we're juggling balls for ten thousand dollars. Three, <laughs> two, one. See, I now have a light in my eyes too, and I'm still doing it. Oh. Uh, so, I think I go over a you watch. Go again. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I can't get a good foot off. <laughs> Sorry, no boat. You straight? <laughs> oh, I kick it under the table. So, today, this topic is, yeah, what are we talking about So, today? well, we're just, some housekeeping stuff, like, uh, yeah. working on. We have the new rooms, we have the new, the room's outfitted now. Yeah. Um, I still have the coolest room. Rob and I have nothing. I'm um, working on it. I think this week I'm gonna order stuff. You know, you've been working on it for about three months now, Rob. I know, I, I really have been saying that because I haven't bought anything for it, but I, I will, this week. <laughs> That's I cool. gotta get like this cool frame to hang up this uh, signed Merrill Twins poster I have, so it's gonna be like. Oh a yeah, little I got one of those too. I gotta do that. Yeah, you got one too. I support other friends' stuff, so it's yeah. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put it in my closet. I think we're gonna be filming behind the scenes stuff, all of our interactions. Uh, just get ready. The vlogs. We hit 100k. We just hit 100k. Yeah. Wait, we need to get our plaque. Whoa. We need oh, the Loveless Sir vlogs plaque. Wait a minute, that wow. we have to go order that ASAP right now. YouTube! Well, that YouTube! Crazy. Thank you guys for being a part of the first 100K. It's crazy to think this channel's gonna have a million by the end of the year. Like, yeah. we've only been yeah. posting for two months. We started this vlog channel as soon as we got out of here. Rhino was like, he just took the camera, he's like, we have to start now. And we're doing it in a way that we want to make these videos, exactly how we want to portray ourselves. Like, this is us. Like, you guys are watching exactly how we act in person. Like, And you guys are seeing more, it's pretty, like, raw, uncut. Like, it's not very... Yeah, for the first time, if you go from the main channel to our channel, you're, it might be weird to adjust to. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, they're not, like, super animated or told, turned on. Like you guys are seeing what we actually act and do mm -hmm. on a regular basis, and if and the more vlogs we post, the better we're gonna get at making more cohesive. Yeah, because this know, is new for us too. We're over here just like because we're always know. we're always talking, but we're never filming. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, let's story tell with yeah. vlogging our days now, and it's yeah. getting exciting because we're like, oh, we can vlog this. We can show. Yeah. we want to show you guys like what we what and we do. And you guys stuff. know we're pretty good at doing skits. I would say not to like do yeah. 
But I feel like yeah. we could take that and apply it to real real life vlogging and we can do mm -hmm. the same thing. And you guys get to look at us grow on here. And like, imagine the vlogs a year from now that we'll be making. Bro. They might be epic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They will be. I feel like they will and be. You guys get to be a part of this entire journey. And it's going to be fun for both of us, honestly. So, thank you guys for being a part of the... Love Live Serve Vlogs Squad? I, well, we, we ain't the, got the, we don't have the fan, so we don't have the supporter name. LLS fans? LLS? I don't know. LLS. Well, I can, we can work on that. We'll work on it. You guys can comment something down below. <laughs> I wish I could say this to the people on the main channel and everyone out in public, but uh, I was wearing an Astro, a Houston Astros hat. There we go. Um, I should get it. Just so okay. that, let me get it. Y'all, this has been a thing that's been irritating me, like genuinely. And we've been talking about it a lot. We were too. talking about it, so I figured I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, I recently bought this hat, Houston Astros, that's what they're called, I guess, baseball hat. And I like the way it's shaped, and I like the, you know, orange star on it and everything. So when I've been going out in public, people have been like, oh, Astro, you're an Astros fan? And I'm like, um, nah, I, uh, I don't really know what to say because this is baseball. Bro, I have not watched one baseball game in my entire life. But I just liked blue, orange, complimentary colors, cool little logo. It's just cool to me. And then, obviously, the Nash Washington Nationals played the Houston Astros for the World Series, and then the Nationals won. And I have a Washington Nationals logo tattoo on me because from that's Maryland, Washington DC, that's where I'm from. So I got this tat, Washington. So, but I got the Houston thing later because I just like the logo, and then they ended up playing each other in the World Series. So it was like, I didn't really, <laughs> I, and I got this hat too, the, uh, Cle this is Cleveland, Ohio, Cleveland Indians. Um, just another baseball team. Here's what I'm trying to get at. I don't watch these freaking sports. I get these hats because I think they look cool. Like this little guy here, the little Indian dude. Uh, cool, really cool. I've seen, you know. I mean, I'm the same way. I don't watch sports or anything like that, but I have a lot of sports hats and like shirts and stuff. And then me, I have a lot of Jordan shoes and I may not know what game that Michael Jordan wore those in. Yeah. But some people super know like, oh, you got the flu game 12? Uh -huh. Oh my God, that's when he did. Oh, he, he was T-Woo. He, yes. no, he really was, he really was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. And then and I'm like, 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 oh, okay. Or <laughs> the Concords, that was the final championship game yeah. in 1997. I'm like, oh, I just, they look dope, so. See, the problem that I was facing was, oh, Rhino has a national, Washington Nationals tattoo, but he has an Astros hat. And then, oh, you're wearing a white socks hat, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but you don't even support them. Oh, you have this soccer jersey on, but I thought you were a fan of these people. And it's getting to the point where, uh, even in public, I was at a party mm -hmm. and a bunch of people were like, what the heck with the Astros hat, dude, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, and then the guy on the, on the Amtrak train that I was on was like, the Astros, man. Yeah, see, when they would see McKinley in the third inning, blah, 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 and starts talking to me about baseball. And I'm like, dude, I just want to wear this hat because I like the colors on it. I do not know anything. So, I don't, I, I, it just bothers me how people are so hell bent on like their team and like you can't support any other team. And we were and, saying like, why can't you like two teams? Uh, if Ryan was a big baseball fan, why are you, why is the whole rule of, what, who's, your, who's your favorite football team, team baseball yeah. team? Why can't you like more than one? Why can't you, can you just a... like this sport and watch all the teams? Uh huh. Cause you were saying that like the soccer players, they trade teams every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all sports all players, players, all players trade teams every year. LeBron going from this to that. Uh huh. That to yeah. That. But what? He can only play for the Cavaliers his whole life because that's what he's. So now all the fans can't like him on his new team. Because that's he's what, it doesn't make sense to me. The whole sports thing. And, and people, hey, hey, man, Astros suck. Nationals, blah blah. And some people, it's whatever state you grew up in. You're supposed to support that team only. Mm -hmm. What if I like the players and how the other people do in the other yeah. states? What if I like the Houston Astros? Like I, I don't just watch YouTubers from California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> what, does it only apply for sports? And, and no, because do you know where this shirt was made? <laughs> huh? Why are you wearing this shirt? Um, um, this is actually. That's not from Washington. This yeah. is. Uh oh. Pan That's not a Maryland shirt. Pan what is this? Pantera. What are the origins of this shirt? <laughs> I just like the way it feels. Exactly. And that's how he feels when he wears these hats. Yeah. Like, uh -huh. People bugging him, nailing down like, you don't know who plays on the team, or why are you wearing a hat, man? You're from Maryland. And we made the same statement about like candies, for example, or food. It's uh -huh. like, oh, your favorite food is uh, pizza. Uh -huh. Why are you eating a burger then? Yeah. <laughs> like I thought you were like. I thought you were like you were a fan of pizza. You can't have burgers and pizza. Which pick one? Bandwagon. Bandwagon. <laughs> so like, Jeez. where does it stop? Yeah. Why is it this whole bubble of sports that you have to? 
I don't know. And I feel like the players that play on these teams don't aren't even, even repping the stuff like that. Like, they switch to the next team the next year. Like, I don't know. It's the people that don't, that aren't on the team at all that have the most to say. Yeah, um, the ones that can't even play the sport properly. And who are they as the authority to say, you're, the, you're allowed to wear this, you can't wear that. You, mm -hmm. What happened to Freedom? Well, rock, let me rock what I want to Why? Rock. Yeah, why can't I like that team? Like, who can, yeah. who can And there's no, there's no, um, like in these sports, there's no law or rule that you can only like one team. It's the people that are putting this social norm that you could only like one team. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why? Who is making that cap on, yep. on things? And then everyone buys into it like, well, hey, yep. hey, you can't win Astros. Hey, F the Astros. And then people get in fights at the stadiums and stuff off of not liking the team. And the you're party. not even on the team. You're not even playing the sport. You're just sitting down with a beer. <laughs> And personally, I just don't have enough time and day to listen to all the talks and really? learn all the stats and all the players and the coaches' names, which I know is a big deal. So maybe because I don't even know all that information, I'm not allowed to speak on this, but... It's like, if someone's rocking something, especially clothes, hat, whatever, bro, hey, maybe they're from there. Maybe yeah. they are from there. Cool. Maybe they're not. Who cares? They're yeah, rocking and, we're, and we're not talking down on people that like sports and not are into it like that. We just want... We don't want people to... You don't, we don't want you to be that person that's like, why are you wearing that? See what? Just, you know, people have, were born in different places and people like different things and it's a sport. It's there you a, go. The channel, so sport. the channel's love the serve blogs. Love is the first word. Yeah. Why can't we just love everything and everyone? Exactly. Damn. Love your neighbor. And just live in the moment. Ah. And just serve your community. Okay? Y'all yeah. are straying away. Y'all are stuck in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to bring y'all into reality. That's what we were saying. Maybe we're the weird ones. Because, yeah. we are feel, we? because we feel this way. Maybe it is actually wrong to like all these teams. I don't believe <laughs> that. But maybe you guys tell us. I don't understand. Yeah, because we're not the, these all-knowing beings. Like, mm -hmm. the, this is just our opinion and we're, how we yeah. see things. We're just more open-minded. We're giving y'all yeah. our two cents. Um, this is how we feel. Because people could say the same thing about YouTube, like, oh, YouTube, why are you making YouTube videos? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't understand it, but it, th then again. Why mm. are you supporting more than one YouTuber? You're supposed to just pick one YouTuber pick and one. It's the same concept. It's the same thing. Oh. Wow. Like, why are you wearing, why are you wearing Nike shorts, but Adidas shoes, huh? How oh. dare you? How dare you? Uh -huh. Pick a brand, dude. Pick a brand pick and a stick brand. to it. Wait. We're, guys, we're coming out with merch, I like Love to Serve merch that's like really cool and like not even corny or nothing. It's like super cool, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and the end of the statement would have to be, let people rock what they want to rock, I think. Um, and have an open mind. It won't keep me up at night if people are in the comments like, oh, this team sucks, or hey, hey, my team's better. Like, whatever, man, but in that same breath, just like, Take it easy. If you support a team, great. Support them. Rock with them. Amazing. Uh, and you know what? This this vlog may not get many views. And that's fine. Let's say this gets 20k views. Okay. I'm hoping that the 20k people that see this take something from it and go, hey, maybe I'm not going to be critical. Or maybe if I see someone bullying someone else or being giving someone else a hard time about what they're wearing for a sports team, maybe I'll say something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that, that's yeah. my objective with this. Because we try to bring value to the to our vlogs. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that's our main goal. For yeah, this. we're not bashing anybody. Like you said, we accept everything. Mm -hmm. We just want to know why is this a problem? Why is it such a big deal? Yeah, we're trying to open the minds a little bit. So maybe what do you guys think about this topic? Like, uh, I would love to see you guys' feedback, and uh, especially the ones that are like crazy sport fanatics. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's a rule I'm missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave some comments. We're trying to change the narrative. Correct. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what we're trying to do. So, um, yeah, I just want to feel safe walking out that I can wear what I want to wear. Mm -hmm. Shoot, that's how it should be. <laughs> wear whatever you want. All right, well now we're gonna do some crazy dope stuff. We're gonna we gotta sleep early tonight because we're gonna wake up early oh, tomorrow. Yeah, oh, we gotta. Yeah, finish. but hey, I think that's gonna end the vlog, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's the vlog for today. Cool. And I suggested that we start doing vlogs that are just us sitting here talking about interesting topics, as if it were a podcast. Mm -hmm. Where the title would be like a question that maybe someone would want to know and then we elaborate on and it And this is fun for the viewers because you don't know what to expect on this channel. Yeah, it's like we could sit down and talk about you guys our views on a, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah Leave some topics down below. Yeah, what questions would you like us to make dedicated videos about? 
And we can include your comment in the video. Yeah. That's good. That's how cool. Did the, how can you be a YouTuber? Yeah. How did... I have, I might know some stuff on that. How yeah. to dress like Nobo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do they want to know that? <laughs> yeah. I want to know that. Um, how does Rhino get all those girls in the videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do all these girls ghost them right after the videos are filmed? <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was a fun little talk. Um, so many vlogs coming, guys. Like, I couldn't even tell you what we're going to do, but we know we're going to get out of here and find mm -hmm. stuff to do. And that was... We were saying like, wow, we now have a purpose to kind of live and go experience some moments. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because we're just in grind mode, waking up, working, eating, all in our same apartment. So now, yeah, let's go on a hike. Let's go to Santa Monica Pier. Let's go do, let's go skydiving. This, yeah. Like, I don't know. Why not that? <laughs> I will let's never, go indoor skydiving. Yeah. I will never skydive. I'm done. All right. We are going to go do fun stuff for this channel. And <laughs> for, like I said, for anybody that's in California, if you guys know the spots to hit yeah. up, tell us, cause because this is getting really fun for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hey, hundred k, hundred k, hundred k. That's one tenth of a million. We're going for a million. We almost had a million. million. We appreciate all of you guys. We love all you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Road to one mil. Peace. Peace.